In this practice question, you are asked to find the lattice enthalpy of magnesium nitride. Magnesium uh, nitride is Mg3, Mg is 2 plus and N is 3 minus, so it's Mg3 N2. So this is uh, 2 plus, this is 3 minus, so this is the formula of magnesium nitride. So I am going to draw a born haber cycle to find the lattice enthalpy. What I am given is the atomization of magnesium, the electron affinities for the change which is nitrogen to N3 minus when nitrogen ends up gaining three electrons, gaseous nitrogen atom and the enthalpy of formation of Mg3N2 is also known. So these values are given. The ones that are missing would be found from the data booklet. So I'm going to start off with the standard enthalpy of formation which is uh, when one mole of uh, magnesium nitride uh, so we're dealing with this one mole of Mg3N2 so this is going to be one mole and it's solid it's formed from its constituent elements one is nitrogen and it should be in gaseous state that's the standard state and the other one is magnesium and it's a solid so one mole of Mg3N2 solid is formed from its constituent gaseous ions and this over here is your enthalpy change of formation and this value is given it's given as minus 461 so let's write that down so this is known and uh, constructing a born neighbor cycle we need to figure out another path to uh, from mg to n2 and stepwise we're going to try and form mg3 n2 so we're going to start building that path the first thing i need is mg is metallic it's a met metal so all the magnesium atoms are bonded to each other i need to break those bonds and form gaseous magnesium so this is exactly what I'm going to do. So Mg changes into Mg gaseous atoms. I've broken all the bonds. N2 remains as it is. So, so in this tiny step, nothing is happening to N2 but magnesium. So this is the atomization of magnesium. It's uh, enthalpy change of atomization of Mg. One mole of gaseous atoms are formed from its constituent element. But there's uh, one difference what I have not done yet is I haven't introduced the number of moles. For, uh, there are three in the first equation. What I missed out was Mg3N2 has three magnesium. So there would be three magnesium atoms. So if I'm going to change them into gaseous atoms, there would be three magnesium gaseous atoms. So your enthalpy of atomization of magnesium would be multiplied by three because... Uh, you're forming three magnesium atoms uh, and the value is 148 so this value would be multiplied by three as well so it's going to be 148 multiplied by three so this part is 148 multiplied by three the next step is I have a nitrogen molecule and I need to break the bonds in the nitrogen molecule remember nitrogen has a triple bond if I break that bond it's a uh, it's going to form two nitrogen gaseous atoms so let's do that uh, magnesium remains as it is so there are three magnesium gaseous atoms and now I have two nitrogen gaseous atoms so I've I've broken the N2 molecule uh, so it's basically N triple bond N that needs to be broken so it's going to be the bond energy of this particular bond and the value can be found from the data booklet if you open the data booklet, look for the N triple bond bond energy, it's going to come out to be equal to 944 kilojoules per mole. So in this step, uh, N2 molecule gets converted into gaseous nitrogen atoms, all the bonds are broken. The next step now is I have gaseous magnesium and nitrogen atoms, I need to form Mg3N2, which means that I need to ionize them. Mg has to be 2 plus and N has to be 3 minus. So so I need to convert these three magnesium gaseous atoms into magnesium ions. So in the next step you convert magnesium into Mg2 plus gaseous ions. Uh, I'm not touching nitrogen. Nitrogen remains as it is. So in this step nothing happens to nitrogen. The gaseous atoms remain as they are. Now converting gaseous magnesium atom to 2 plus is equal to the first plus second ionization energy of so it's the first plus second ionization energy of Mg but since we have 
three magnesium atoms so I'm doing that for all the three magnesium atoms so it's going to be multiplied by three so I'm going to look up the values of first and second ionization energy of magnesium in the data booklet and the value is 736 for the first and 1450 for the second and since I have three magnesium doing this for three magnesium it's going to be multiplied by three so that's uh, that's the uh, uh, first and second ionization energy of magnesium and uh, mg2 plus loses uh, two electrons but there are three so that's a total of six electrons that are lost and in the next step I want nitrogen to gain those uh, electrons three magnesium ions remain as they are nothing happens to them but the two nitrogens now end up gaining those six electrons to form N3 minus uh, one of the nitrogen atoms uh, is gaining uh, three electrons the other nitrogen atom is also gaining three electrons so if you look at the at the change over here nitrogen gaseous atom gets uh, converted into N3 minus so that change is 2148 so this over here is uh, N gaseous changing into N3 minus gaseous. Uh, so this is uh, the value, the energy value, energy change for this uh, path is 2148. So it's 2148, but I'm going to multiply it by 2 because I'm doing this for two nitrogen atoms. Two of the nitrogen atoms get converted into two N3 minus gaseous ions and now I've reached my last step my last step is this over here so this step over here is when gaseous ions get uh, together to form an ionic lattice and this is equivalent to your lattice enthalpy and this is the energy that energy change that needs to be calculated so so we've uh, constructed the the born haber cycle or you can call it the Hess cycle uh, remember uh, the, the most important thing about this Hess cycle is uh, the number of moles is important because uh, you need to know uh, what the ionization energy is first and second is being multiplied by three similarly the electron affinity is being multiplied by two because you have two nitrogens similarly the enthalpy of atomization of magnesium is also being multiplied by three because you have three magnesium atoms so so the number of moles in the Hess cycle are very very important so be very careful with them and now I'm going to apply the Hess law which is that the energy change of one path is equal to the energy change of the other path if you're talking about the same reaction so this is my first path mg n2 forming mg3 n2 and this is my other path doing exactly the same thing so enthalpy of formation is going to be equal to this uh, the sum of the energy changes of this other path so let's try and solve that now so enthalpy of formation is minus 461 and I'm going to sum up all the other uh, energy changes of the other part so it's 148 into 3 which was the enthalpy of atomization uh, so that's done then you have uh, you're breaking the nitrogen nitrogen bond that's 944 followed by uh, the ionization energies ionizing magnesium three of the magnesium atoms so that's three multiplied by 736 and 1450, 1450, and then you have uh, 2148, where, which is the electron affinity, nitrogen gaining electrons. That would be multiplied by 2148 multiplied by 2 because you have two nitrogens. So all of them are being added, and finally the lattice enthalpy over here. So summing this other path, I am now going to try and solve for lattice enthalpy, making lattice enthalpy the subject of the equation. Be very careful with, uh, with the, this calculation. A lot of people get this wrong. Be very careful, try and uh, recheck your answer. It has a lot of signs, a lot of things are being multiplied. So you, there's a very high chance that you might make a silly mistake and get this wrong. So be very careful with this when you're using your calculator. So I'm going to try and solve this on my calculator now and find the value of lattice energy. And the final answer for the lattice enthalpy for magnesium nitride is coming out to be minus uh, 12,703 kilojoules per mole, which is a very large value. Uh, one thing is that it is it's coming out to be exothermic lattice energy is exothermic 
and the other thing is it's coming out to be a very large value which indicates that uh, the formation of this lattice ionic lattice magnesium ion ions attracting nitride ions that is very exothermic very strong bonds are being formed as you can see that it, this has a charge of 2 plus this has a charge of 3 minus so the attraction is very very strong and a very large lattice enthalpy is obtained